multiple areas in the Western Pacific we are monitoring today. From Invest 97W9899 out towards the south of Guam, there are a few areas we want to keep an eye on. Now, just because an area is an invest does not mean it is going to become a named storm system. Keep that in mind. And at this time, our main threat is this invest slash a low pressure area off of the northeast coast of Luzon that is enhancing the monsoon. Little guidance and really none at all indicates this becoming a full-on typhoon, but something we want to continue to watch out for. Meanwhile, back towards the east, there are several other areas we're keeping an eye on. Now, those ones are going to be interrupted by some shear towards the north. So that's going to be dipping down and really no guidance as well, indicating tropical development on those. So pretty much, despite the fact the map is very active, there is no guidance and there really is not much alluding to a full-on typhoon development. But given that there is a lot of convection, there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, of course, we want to continue to watch it. So I'm not going to discount it full outright. But just keep in mind, I've been seeing this on a lot of social media posts of multiple people saying, uh, uh, well, we got seven typhoons coming towards the Philippines. That is not the case. You can't just look at the amount of invest and say, hey, that these are all going to come and hit us in the full worst of it. No. It, it, so just make sure you get that information. It feels like I feel like a broken record over the past week and a half. I've been saying this over and over again, but we're just going to continue to, to monitor it here, friends. And uh, of course, I'll keep you posted here at Western Pacific Weather. Stay safe.